Amen. For you are an awesome and a mighty God. There is none like you. You are, oh God, the God of our salvation and the God of our peace. You are the God that gives us joy and gives us hope. You are the God that gives us protection. You are the God that shelters us, even in the storm and the rain. We bless you now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for all of the mercy and the grace that you give us day by day, hour by hour, moment by moment. For you are such a great God, and there is none like you. God, we bless you today. We lift our hands and worship and praise to you. You alone deserve the glory and the honor. You alone deserve the praise. And God, we thank you. We open our mouths and, oh God, we, oh God, give you glory and honor. We thank you for what you've done and who you are and what you're going to do. For you've shown yourself great and mighty. Yes, sir. You've shown yourself to be awesome. You've shown yourself, oh God, to be strong. And you've shown yourself, oh God, to be the only true and living God. And for that, God, we tell you thank you. Yes, sir. We bless you for every hour, every moment that you've given us. Every opportunity and every chance that you've bestowed upon us. For you are so great. Yes. And God, we bless you today. The love that you've shown us, God, 2,000 years ago on the cross. That you gave your life, oh God, that we may live and be free from sin and shame. And even from death. God, we bless you. We thank you, God, for your miracles and your signs and your wonders, yes. oh God. The God that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask to thank. God, we thank you. We thank you for, oh God, our children and our homes. And we thank you for our jobs. And we thank you, oh God, for our communities. And we thank you, God, for everything that you've done. Food and shelter. Clothes, oh God. Oh God, everything we need. You keep our minds and our hearts. God, we bless you. Even through, oh God, all that has happened, years past and years to come, you have never changed. For you have always been God. And we bless you. We give you glory and honor. For you alone are worthy. So today, God, we say you, oh God, are welcome in this place. Have your way in our songs, in our music, in our scripture, in our preaching, in our hand clapping. Have your way, God. We thank you. We adore you. And God, we magnify and lift up your name. For your name alone is worthy that you be praised. We bless you. We thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor. And this is our servant prayer. And all of our people say amen. 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 And amen. 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 Um, this morning as we prepare for our scripture reading, we're going to do a scripture reading and then a prayer. Those of you able to stand, we ask you to stand for the reading of the Lord's Word. Our scripture reading this morning will be coming from Galatians chapter 6, verses 1 through 7. Galatians chapter 6, verses 1 through 7. And it reads, Brother, if a man be overtaken in fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such in one spirit of meekness. Considering thyself least, also be tempted. Bear ye one another burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, 
that he also shall reap. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers and doers of his just read words. You may be seated. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you. We thank you for allowing us to see another day, Lord God. Yes. We take a minute, Lord God, to just ask you to forgive us, Lord, for any transgressions, Lord, that we did wrong, Lord. Lord God, we just ask you to forgive us, Lord, for all our sins, committed knowingly and unknowingly, Lord God. Lord God, we continue to thank you, Lord God, because through it all, you kept us. Through it all, you gave us a second chance, Lord God. Yes, God. Through it all, sometimes you give us a third, fourth, and fifth chance, Lord yes, God. Yes, Lord. And we don't deserve it, Lord. But you see, you see something in us that others don't see, Lord God. And I thank you for that, Lord. Lord God, today we thank you for all these members, Lord God. Yes, thank God. Thank you for keeping us, Lord God. Yes, God. Thank you for keeping us, Lord God. Lord God, we've been one of the churches that have been open through the whole pandemic. Yes, Lord. God. And that's through your strength. Yes. Your power. Lord God, thank you for teaching those how to tap in, Lord God, to your power. Only through you, Lord, we're making it. Only through you, Lord, everything is possible. Lord God, I thank you for your shepherd of this house. Lord. Yes, God. Yes. Lord God, he's been a great friend, mentor, brother, leader, pastor, to all of us, Lord God. Whether right or wrong, he always does right. Yes, God. Lord God. He's going to tell you right, Lord yes. God. Whether you want to hear it or not, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for him, Lord. Keep him, Lord. Strengthen him, Lord. Yes. Keep him up fast, Lord up tall, as we say, Lord, in a joking way, seven foot two, Lord. Yes, God. But when he's standing on your word, Lord God, you can be as tall as yes, you want to, Lord yes. God. And he's a man that does, Lord God. So I thank you for that. I thank you for all the ministers and the, the deacons of this church, Lord God, and their wives, Lord God. I thank you again for this family, Lord, because we're all family. Lord God, I just thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. And that's our past end of this year, seven years of completion, Lord God. I do believe bigger things are going to happen. Yes, Lord. God. Thank I you, God. I see them, Lord. Yes, God. I see this bigger church, Lord God. Yes, I see God. the expansions, Lord God. I see your word works. Yes. Lord God. I see your word. It's true. Yes, God. And long as we stand on your word. That's it. Everything. 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 Yes, God. Everything is possible. Yes. In Jesus' precious name, we pray today. In Jesus' precious name. Yes, we pray God. Today. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Once again, it is amazing and incredible to be in the house of the Lord. Such a blessing to see you all this morning. And as you know, we wrapped up our pastor's anniversary last Sunday. And we were, I don't, I know I was truly blessed by the messages of our pastor on every Sunday. They deliver each individual message. However, they all tied together. Everything tied together. And can we just give them a hand clap? The word of the And I want to say thank you all for being here because he may not say it but i know it truly does his heart well to see you all when you show up 
first of all, for, for yourselves to hear the word. But first of all, when you show up for yourselves to hear the word. But then again, when it's a, when when you're here, it, uh, also for him, it does his heart well. So I thank you as well for myself and for the ministerial and deacon staff, the leadership ministry. We thank you all, and we love you so much for everything that you all have done. I truly, 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 truly love you. And it is only up from here. Like Elder McCree said before, don't miss this train. You don't want to miss it because I, I want to be on the train. Because it is, if you haven't noticed, the momentum has picked up. It's picked up and I want to be on it. And, and I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. So without further ado, Brother Mike, in your hands. Church, amen. Amen. Church, amen. 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 Anybody come have church today? Amen. Come on, we can be better than that. Anybody come have church today? Come on, boy.
Sometimes you got to breathe. Praise.
verse 28. We're going to look at two verses. John chapter 6, verse 28 and 29. John chapter 6, verse 28. It says, Then they asked him, What must we do to do the work God requires? Jesus answered, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. Jesus answered, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. That you can be seated in the presence of the Lord. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers, the hearers, and the doers of His just great word. God, we bless you. God, we thank you. God, we praise you for today. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you for your love. Pray now, God, in the name of Jesus, that just for a few moments you would hide us behind the cross so that people will see not only me but all of you. Speak, God, so that your people can hear. And we will collectively give your name and praise and glory and honor. Let the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart, be acceptable in your sight. God, you are my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Grace and peace to you, my brothers and sisters, through the knowledge of Jesus the Christ. Thank God for God being God. And thank God that the Lord has kept us and until this very moment. You know, it's a blessing to be kept by God. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Right, I mean, it's a blessing to be kept by God. Yes. Amen. And I don't know about you, but there's no body else I'd rather keep me. That God, all to be kept, and then all to be kept by God. Not a long message for you today. I want to encourage somebody by these words found here in the sixth chapter of John. I woke up today, woke up today, uh, feeling kind of, nah. yeah. You know, nothing wrong. You have those days when nothing's wrong. You're not feeling bad, but you just feel. Nah. And so, oftentimes, many times rather, what some folks do when they are in that place of life, sometimes what a person will do is uh, they will allow that feeling uh, to determine what the rest of their day will be like. Mm -hmm. That's I'm right. Talking to today. Yes. Sometimes what we will do is uh, nothing will be wrong, and instead of, of thinking of the goodness of the Lord, we will allow ourselves to continue in that feeling. <laughs> As I got up, though, I began to think about all of the things that God has done for me. Amen. I thought about the fact that this morning when I woke up, I didn't wake up on my own volition. I didn't, I didn't wake up this morning because of anything good that I've done. But me waking up is another chance, another opportunity for God to show himself strong in my life. Yes. Yes. Then, then, then as I began to go about my, my daily employment getting ready, I started realizing that one thing that we do often, watch this, is we talk ourselves out of a good day. Amen. 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 Right. Yes. I'm going to help you all. We're going to be done. Sometimes what we do is we talk ourselves out of a good day. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? When I woke up, I began to say, I don't feel bad. I don't feel sick. I don't feel tired. I just feel, mm. yeah. And if you're not careful, what you will do is you will allow that, mm, to make you start feeling that. Yes. Yes. If yes. you're not careful, what you'll do is you'll allow that, mm, to make you not be as motivated as you could yes. be. Yes. Yes. But I wish there was somebody this morning who, like me, can make up in their mind, even when I feel, mm, I've got a feeling. That's feel everything. Yeah. Is there anybody in the same this morning who can come to you and know that it may not be like I yeah. want to be? I still got a feel. Yeah. Even though I may not have, I'm almost done preaching. Yeah. Even though I may not have a whole bunch of money in my pocket, yeah. I got a feeling that everything's going to be all right. Why do I feel everything's going to be all right? Because I learned a long time ago, the earth is the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> 
Somebody going alive. 
Don't matter how, if you're going through the grave, or if you're still alive, we're going to meet together in the air. The Bible records that the dead shall not forget those which are alive. One day, something better than Paris. Something better. Better than Mexico. Something better. God knows that little Caribbean. Something better than the Caribbean island. There's a place called heaven. Yes, sir. And I know that I'm going because I believe in the one who said I could go. Amen. Amen. Jesus declared, He said, In my father's house, my many mansion. Yes, sir. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to get my mansion. Yeah. May never live in nothing worth nothing here, but I'm going to see Jesus. Amen. Amen. And when I see him, everything here will be worth it. Yes. If you want to know how to do the works of God, it's important that you remember who God is. Yes. Believe in the one that he sent. Yes. Believe and know that he is true. Yes. Beloved, hear me today. Hear me today. Nothing is more important than knowing who Jesus is. Yes. Homes get old. Relationships get tired. Money gets spent. Things are no longer eternal. But thanks to God for Jesus. Because while everything else seems to be upside down, Jesus is still real. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. There are some places that I cannot go. Amen. And there are some things, y'all, that I do not know. Yes. But this one thing, yes, this one thing I do know. Yes. That God is real. Yes, yes. He's real in my soul. Yes. So it's enough to say some people doubt the Lord. Uh-huh. And they say, God's not God real. He says, but, but, but I'm sure. Today you better be very sure that God is real. Amen? Come on, everybody stand. Everybody stand.
Speak into your people's life. Yes, God, we were reminded today, God, as our Sunday school lesson, and then just tie us into this time. Yeah. We're going to go through times. And we're going to try to navigate people through this life. Every day. Some won't believe. Some will come so far. But I pray today we that we that we go all the way. I pray that we go all the way of this journey. And we complete this journey. So if we go by the grave, we be caught up when he appears in the
Hold on.
me and, and my, my other mom, well, I had to vote with myself. And the vote with myself said yes. So if um, you have anybody to fuss at, that, that would be Tia. But.
know what happened. <laughs> we would love to share this with you. And this is from my entire family. There is another gift that is coming that we will display. It's not ready yet. It's not finished. But it's coming. So it's not finished because the I was delayed on getting it to the person. So forgive me. But I did want it here on time. But accept this from us, and then the next gift is going to come. I love it.
being a mentor and a blessing to my children. We love you.
I want to thank God um, for each of you in particular. I'm not calling your name, but I want to thank God today for Brother Harry. Let me tell you what I thought about Brother Harry. Um, and Michael is, is right behind him. I thank God for Brother Harry and that. Amen. The Lord, um, the Lord called me to ministry and we started um, ministering. Um, Brother Harry is the first uh, musician, one of the first musicians who came and, and blessed us. Um, and then when I trans over, transitioned over to St. Matthew, he came with me. Amen. And so I want to say to you, Brother Harry, we praise God, even though you're a Bucks fan. And, and I praise God. <laughs> I praise God. Watched him go through many things, um, and I pray that our Lord has blessed and our Lord has kept him. Amen. I think about our musicians in general. I think Amen. sometimes um, in the course of worship, sometimes they are some of the most overlooked people. Amen. And I say that because of this. You know, they do something that um, that many of us can't do, um, but they do it, and they have to come, they have to rehearse, and all of that things. And I praise God uh, for you. I think you all to know that I don't. I don't um, take you all away. I'm grateful to you all because I understand that uh, you're, you're being here. People say, we don't need musicians to worship, and you don't. And then, but we thank God for the enhancement uh, to the worship service they provide. So can you all for me today? Can you applaud these musicians? Come on, they make them happy, they make them sound good. Amen. Thank God for each of you. Amen. Thank God for each of you. Amen. Come on, walk around, thank God for you. All the way from Riverview. And I pray God him. And they're coming over, getting to work early on those Thursday mornings, they stay over. Listen, it is it is a great sacrifice. A great sacrifice. You say, oh, they get paid. It's a great sacrifice yes. to be a musician. So I want to thank God for each and every one of you for what you do each week. Even when I get out of tune and I key <laughs> and go too fast and too slow. And you all do a great job of covering me. And I thank God for you. And to each of you, again, we praise God for you. To my parents, I praise God for you. Thank God for you being silently boards. And I thank God that I can always go to you. Um, and I can always ask you for good and godly advice. Now, what's the difference between good advice and godly advice, don't you? Amen. Some advice is good, but then godly. That's right. And I'm grateful that I can get good and godly advice from them. I can go to the church, each and every one of you. I do share special moments, and I praise God for you. I pray that the Lord blesses us, blesses us above. I pray He blesses us above what we can pray for, above what we can ask for. Sometimes we ask for things. I pray that God does above what we can ask and what we can we can thank Him for. To each of you who have made this celebration a blessing, I thank you from the from the second Sunday on through. I pray to God for each of you. I love you. I pray to God for you, and we are looking forward to the year eight and to the great things that God shall do for all of us. Amen. Deacon, um, Deacon Allen mentioned it, but I want you to remember to keep uh, Deacon Gray lifted in your prayers. Uh, he slumped that on us and he had knee surgery on Friday. And so I talked to uh, his wife on Friday and asked how he was doing straight. He's not in obedient. Um, but we know how Deacon Gray is. He's supposed to be sitting down and he's trying to walk all through the house. And so I had to tell him, knee surgery, knee surgery. So you need to sit down. Uh, or that knee will give you some hope wrong. But that's his business. Yeah. He's great. But y'all pray for him and pray for her. Um, and she try to take care of him. Um, pray for each of those who are not here and to him. Pray that God bless them. Okay? Come on, let's stand. Can y'all believe? Can y'all believe? This is the battle. Can y'all believe that tomorrow is November 1st? Yes. Oh, don't stop. Don't stop. And that means that there are 30 more days to the most wonderful day of the year. Y'all know what that means? It's my birthday. Y'all should have been excited. There's 30 more days. 30 more days. Woo -hoo! That, that's so dry. That's so dry. But it's okay. Because the whole month of December is a celebration. Okay? Amen. November 20th. Amen. Fam, you're going to be the Wildcats. And then we're going to go into Thanksgiving. And then my birthday. But more importantly, <laughs> thank God that the Lord has blessed us. Listen, y'all. Y'all know that? He has blessed us almost through a whole nother year. Yes. And when this year started, y'all, we didn't know how it was going to end. Yes. But thanks be to God. We can testify that we're still here. Amen. 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 Amen.